Hey, what's up guys, I'm Nizio Cole, and we just got a whole bunch of information about Watch Dogs 3, and I'm just so excited, so let's just jump right into it. So a few hours ago, Ubisoft posted a tweet about E3, and it had a whole bunch of hashtags like For Honor and Assassin's Creed and all their other games, uh, but I noticed something. They were missing Watch Dogs, which we are pretty much confirmed that Watch Dogs is coming this year. So I quoted the tweet with You Forgot Watch Dogs 3, and three hours later, you know what happens? The Watch Dogs 2 Twitter handle changes to Watch Dogs Legion, and they post this tweet. So now that we know that the name of the game is Watch Dogs Legion, I couldn't really think of any connections to the previous two games. Now I got some feedback on my previous Watch Dogs 3 video and that people wanted more details on the article. Now I have to warn you guys that this will be in spoiler territory, and I'll have both the article and the Reddit post linked in the description if you guys want to go read them yourselves. Now remember to take all these leaks with a grain of salt because none of this is confirmed except for the name of the game. But as the post reads, set in London and the main character is a young lady named Sarah. She is half Asian, half English. She works for a counter-terrorist organization in a branch that specializes in stopping cyber attacks. She is tasked with infiltrating a hacker group, bringing their operations down, and finding out who is in charge. You won't be able to use weapons like guns or knives, but instead batons, tasers, and other non-lethal weapons. Parkour is making a return from Watch Dogs 2 and has been revised so it feels more fluid and natural. You can also skateboard and graffiti. Side missions include finding drug dens and getting them shut down as Sarah has a strong dislike for them as her brother died from a drug overdose. Set in the near future and the city will feel a slight more cyberpunk than other games. Mobs will form and riots will begin. You can either take part in them or shut them down. The game will be teased two weeks before E3 and have a full gameplay reveal at E3 will release in November 2019. Now there is a lot to go over in this paragraph. We already knew that it was set in London. We already knew that it was a female protagonist. We already knew that this would be non-lethal. So we're just going to put that aside and talk about the other stuff. The parkour in Watch Dogs 2 was greatly improved on over the first game, especially with Marcus being a generally agile figure. I can only imagine with Sarah that this would improve even more in Legion. Skateboarding graffiti is a nice touch, although depending on her personality and character, it could be a hit or miss. Now he did get wrong about it being teased two weeks before E3, unless, correct me if I'm wrong, comment down below because I didn't see anything about Watch Dogs 3 until today, and E3 is six days away. Now the November 2019 release date does seem pretty plausible considering as Watch Dogs 2 came out November 15th, 2016. In the September to November range is usually when most AAA games are released. The new Modern Warfare game is coming out in October, so yeah, I'm really, really excited. I'm going to be updating you guys on all of this. The Ubisoft E3 presentation is June 10th at 1pm Eastern. I'll be streaming my live reaction on twitch.tv slash if you want to go check it out. And the last thing in this video, I just want you guys to comment down below what you guys think about all of these leaks. If you have some strong opinions, if you have some contradictions against some points, just comment them down below and I will make sure to reply to every single one. It's been Cole. Peace.